Lama supports uh, dissenting opinions, and he sets over policies to move toward democratization by giving up his political power. In disagreeing with them politically and taking an alternative route, uh, seeking independence rather than autonomy, what sort of effect do you think that has had on the movement? Do you think that's healthy for the for the Tibet-China situation? Is that healthy for the Tibetans, that division? or? Uh, for me, it's not division. In fact, it's good that there are that kind of difference of opinion not only expressed but recognized and uh, having the confidence of the people. If we all have to think like His Holiness, which is not possible, and He's a Buddha, His sense of love and compassion is immense, unimaginable for a, for a human being to practice that kind of thing. We come from our own sense of limitations as human beings, our own capacity of a little bit of love, but a lot of anger and hatred. <laughs> and, uh, you know, um, nationalism, like our country, our people, our religion, and, you know. Um, so we come from this, and uh, this is the natural world. And this is this natural world, this reality is the truth. And therefore, that difference of opinion is very natural to have with this uh, I think there was a time earlier when larger, you know, population of Tibetans uh, thought that it was not, it was kind of disrespectful to have a different opinion with His Holiness. But it was His Holiness Himself who encouraged that difference of opinion. His Holiness said that, you know, Tibetan Youth Congress, a large number of young Tibetans are taking responsibility for the struggle, and if they're demanding independence, is their right? And His Holiness says that, the basis of our demand for independence is that that in history Tibet was an independent country, which is a truth, which is a fact, a fact, a truth that nobody can change. Neither Dalai Lama nor Chinese government can change, change this. And his Holiness says that this is truth and they have to. It is the legitimate right of the Tibetan people to demand independence. What his Holiness is saying is that in the past it was an independent country. His Holiness says that let us not go back, let us not go back to the past. Let us Look uh, to the future. Let us think of now. Can we, forgetting, uh, keeping history in its own position, can we think of a situation where we can live together? It's a very positive way of looking. Yeah.